Hello everyone, my name is Eric, I'm from France. Uh, English is not my first language, so please bear with me. I'm going to uh, demonstrate some of the editing functions in Sonar, which is my favorite multitrack. So I have loaded here an audio file that you can see here, but you can't see it very well. So I'm going to start with the zooming, because viewing is very important. So you can do this in many ways. For example, you can uh, put your uh, cursor here, click and drag and it makes it bigger uh, uh, and, and back again um, you can do the same thing here on this side by clicking and dragging it's not as precise so i prefer the other one uh, in the other direction this button here gives you the possibility to uh, shorten or lengthen and make it very precise now let's talk about uh, colors well uh, changing the colors of the tracks you know when you have 10 20 tracks it's important to have different colors to know where they are so that's done in a very simple way you just go to uh, edit and preferences and here what you find is many many things including customization colors now tracks will have different colors from track 1 to track 10 10 different colors for track 1 to track uh, 10 and then of course if you have 20 tracks well yes two tracks will have the same color if you have 30 tracks three tracks will have the same color but that's that's no big deal really now let's take a look at the naming functions i have loaded this uh, this uh, audio file which was a WAV file and it uh, named automatically the track track one according to the uh, file that I loaded so I'm going to change that and very simply I'm going to double click and let's call it test that's very interesting but you can see that the clip itself this is the clip still has the uh, name of the the audio file so what I do is I go to the uh, clip uh, inspector, it's called Clip Inspector in Sonar, and I can double click and change it as well. A very interesting name indeed. Now, trimming, um, well, trimming is let's say I have the silence at the end here, I want to trim this, so there you go, I'm trimming it and back in place. On the other end, same thing, I can do the same thing. Now, if you go a little closer and zoom in as we have seen before if I trim this here like this you can see that it's going step by step because it's snapping to a grid it's snapping to an invisible grid that's called a grid and this is uh, done and undone by clicking here the grid mode and you can see that now with if I have uh, declicked the uh, grid mode there is no more snapping on a grid and if I enable it again there is snapping again when I do this same thing on the other side of course let's take a look now at uh, splitting the uh, the uh, the clip this is the clip here so there are different ways of doing this and the easiest way I guess is just to press on S another way I'm going to undo this by Control Z another way would be to choose here in the tools right click and choose split and then I have a pair of scissors and I can just click here so this is splitting now if I go back to the uh, dragging mode by doing this I can drag this overlapping the first one and you can see here that there's the automatic crossfade which has been created this is good because we don't want any noise or click happening when uh, it goes from one into the other so it goes gradually into from one into the other and this is uh, done by using the options here and uh, making sure that auto crossfade is enabled and of course you can choose the uh, different types of crossfades and finally let's take a look at markers well the easiest way is to uh, just click where you want to uh, have a marker and press M you can name it if I uh, want another one I just do the same thing press M number two for example and there we have our markers that's easy and markers can be used in different ways one way is for example to uh, if I select uh, this part here between the two uh, I can very easily 
um, press on this and you have this yellow line which is the looping function and if you can see now it's moving from one to the other very quickly and I can stop it I can disable it uh, by clicking here that's it thank you very much I've been a little longer than five minutes sorry for that but there's a lot to say bye thanks for your feedback